Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Like, subscribe, and share with your fellow denarian friends. To help support our channel we now accept tips using the blockchain-based Brave Browser and BAT tokens. It makes a huge difference and is very much appreciated. To those of you that made a contribution, I sincerely thank you very much. Pick up your free trial copy of the Currency Exchange Planner and check out the awesome new Currency Exchange Planner Companion 2020 edition, voted the number one exchange planner in the Dinar community for a reason. Both the links to the powerful secure blockchain Brave browser as well as the Currency Exchange Planner and Companion are in the description box below this video. First article of interest for today. Can Iraq pay salaries after the collapse in oil prices? The government advisor answers. The appearance of Mohammed Saleh, the economic advisor to the Prime Minister of Iraq, confirmed on Saturday that there are real concerns about the collapse of oil prices in global markets, but he stressed that Baghdad can pay the salaries of employees. Saleh said in a statement singled out by Shafiq News, the decline in oil prices is a temporary matter. And we have developed a short term plan, especially as Iraq's budget depends on oil revenues by more than 93%, stressing that there are real concerns about this decline. And Saleh added that the Iraqi government will work to address this by reducing expenses in order to provide salaries for employees in the Iraqi state. He continued by saying securing the salaries of employees is at the heart of the government's duties. And there are no fears of cutting salaries or deducting a percentage of them due to the low oil prices. The government is ready to stop everything in order to secure the salaries of employees. And oil prices had collapsed to about $46 a barrel following the collapse of the agreement to cut production between OPEC and Russia. This development raised fears that Iraq could not pay the salaries of employees especially as the country is rentier and secures its expenditures from crude sales revenue by at least 90%. Next article of interest. A parliamentarian raises the alarm. The economy of Iraq and Kurdistan will inevitably be affected by this. A member of the Natural Resources Committee of the Kurdistan Regional Parliament said on Saturday that the coronavirus will have a serious impact on movement and economic activity in Iraq and the Kurdistan region. The coronavirus will affect the movement of markets and the movement of materials, and therefore will have an impact on the overall economic situation, Sheikh Ojada added in a statement singled out by Shafiq News. He pointed out that closing the border outlets, especially in the commercial aspect of them, with countries such as Iran and Turkey, will negatively affect the region. Concerning fears of the possibility of cuts in the salaries of employees in the region by the federal government, a member of the Wealth Committee ruled out this occurrence. He explained that the country is still exporting oil and there are no serious concerns at the moment about export. The oil prices had collapsed to about $46 a barrel following the collapse of the agreement to cut production between OPEC and Russia, which raised fears that Iraq could not pay the salaries of employees, especially as the country secures its expenditures from crude sales revenue by at least 90%. Next article of interest. Iraqi competencies advance in the Middle East. The Central Bank of Iraq organized two internationally approved specialized courses in the field of combating money laundering and terrorist financing, and the results of the international course were distinguished by Iraq obtaining the first position among participating Middle Eastern countries that perform qualitative tests remotely under the strict supervision of the Association of Certified Specialists in Combating Money Laundering and Terrorist Financing ACAMS Internationalism. The Director General of the Center for Banking Studies on behalf of Abdul Hadi said, The Central Bank organized a course that included an international certificate for an accredited specialist in the field of anti-money laundering and terrorist financing CAMS, and the other included a certificate of a certified specialist in combating financial crimes, in conjunction with international courses in different regions of the world, and came the results are positive, with Iraqi leadership leading the Middle East certified specialist, he added, 
In light of the central directives aiming to improve the level of performance of the bank's employees, workers in state departments, government and private banks, institutions and all financial companies, the central has organized, in cooperation with IROCNA Economic and Administrative Investments and Training, several training courses to obtain a certificate of a certified specialist in the fight against money laundering and terrorist financing. It is the first international certificate in the world in the field of combating money laundering and terrorist financing and is accredited by the Association of Certified Specialists in Combating Money Laundering and Terrorist Financing at camps in Miami slash America, and it has importance in assessing the compliance of the Republic Iraq for the recommendations issued by the Financial Action Group. He added, in view of the great and superior success achieved by most of the participants in the final test for obtaining the certificate and some of them obtaining the highest evaluations in the Middle East, coordination was made with the aforementioned company that the handing of certificates to the participants be within a special celebration. Advanced Systems and that, enabling human resources from advanced systems represents the most important directive of the central bank, as developing performance requires training and engaging human resources and development courses at a global level, noting that, the banking system is in urgent need of advanced technology witnessed by the international capital market. He pointed out that, the evaluation control represents an important direction for the development of the Iraqi banking system, as the country's reality necessitates the existence of banks capable of dealing with the requirements of the evolving international effort wishing to work within the local market. It is mentioned that Iraq came on top of the pyramid as the smartest Arab people according to an international assessment, and this facilitates the task of developing and empowering local human resources. He pointed out that, there is a great interaction between the central bank and the banking system in order to improve the capabilities of bank employees as well as the central bank. International economy. He pointed out that, the phenomenon of money laundering has become a threat to the global economy in general and to governments in particular through corruption crimes that contribute to deepening the seriousness of this phenomenon by dealing with criminal companies. And in line with international efforts to combat this crime, these international courses that include setting standards and monitoring international and commercial institutions and training workers in the field of auditing, supervision and investigation. International Certificate, Abdul Hadi continued, based on the efforts of the Central Bank of Iraq in the advancement of the banking sector through training and development of employees and meeting the requirements of the Banking Control Department in the bank. The central bank organized training courses in combating money laundering and terrorist financing camps during the last period during which 124 participants from all banks and state departments as well as a trail 38 participants in the field of financial crime in cooperation with Iraqna Investments Company which is the exclusive agent accredited in Iraq to the Association of Certified Specialists in Combating Money Laundering and Terrorist Financing in the United States of America ACMS, as it is considered the certificate granted by this association has the highest international certificate in the field of combating money laundering and terrorist financing. Next article of interest. Corona gives precious opportunity to government institutions in this aspect. The DMC Digital Media Center renewed its call to digitize the work of government institutions and use electronic systems to conduct and carry out transactions of citizens via the Internet, after the decision to suspend the employment of some institutions due to the appearance of infections in the country. The research team at the center added in a statement that, some Iraqi government institutions, including the registration services and traffic, nationality and passports, as well as educational and other institutions, suspended their activities after announcing the infections with this virus, which caused delayed citizen transactions and great momentum even after resuming work. And the center continued, that this opportunity is necessary to rework and revitalize the e-government, e-governance, significantly, and it may be a breakthrough to end the routine work and daily momentum on state institutions. He stressed, the necessity of providing the necessary infrastructure for the work of electronic systems, as activating these systems to manage state institutions, 
the most important of which is e-learning, is not possible and Iraq is at the forefront of ranking the worst countries at the speed of downloading from the internet, where the work of electronic education platforms requires playing high-definition videos and entering lectures via applications at their appointed times, interact with them in use of cloud computing applications, they require a fast and stable internet service. With regard to sales and electronic payment operations, the center noted that most shopping centers in Iraq do not support direct online payment methods with payment cards, MasterCard slash Visa card, despite the possession of most of the payment cards after decisions to localize salaries for state employees, noting that the process of withdrawing money from an ATM device and using it for payment does not protect against the risks of infection with the coronavirus stressing the need to work on activating PayPal and Apple Pay in Iraq. The Digital Media Center diagnosed in previous data several problems in digital services in Iraq, the most important of which is the quality of Internet services provided to the citizen and PZ secret data and the failure of citizens cut off online exams to prevent leaking questions of ministerial and the protection of cybersecurity for the country. Next article of interest. Saleh authorizes these to choose a prime minister after realizing his command. State of Law Coalition revealed, today, Saturday, to authorize the President of the Republic, Baram Saleh, the leaders of Shiite political forces to consult in order to choose a president for the next government. The President of the Republic, Baram Saleh, during his meetings with the Shiite political leaders, authorized them to issue the choice of the new prime minister. They were told to agree on a figure and present it to him for the purpose of assigning it, said coalition leader Saad al Mutlabi to Shafak News. In between al Mutlabi, the president of the republic, Baram Sali, is well aware that the lack of agreement of all Shiite political leaders on a specific personality means that it is not passed in the Iraqi parliament, and that is why he has entrusted this task to them, and they are now in the development of negotiating the new character for the purpose of presenting it in favor of. The former Prime Minister-designate Mohammad Tafiq Alawi had stepped down from the task of forming the government early this month after he failed to persuade the Kurds, Sunnis and some Shiite forces to give confidence to his cabinet. The President of the Republic, Baram Sali, has 15 days to assign another person the task of forming a government. Unprecedented popular protest forced Adel Abdul Mahdi's government to resign in December slash early December 2019. The demonstrators insist that the political elite accused of corruption and waste of state money, which has ruled since the fall of Saddam Hussein's regime in 2003, is gone and held accountable. Next article of interest. Nassif is demanding the replacement of Blashart. Deputy Ali Nassif, on Saturday called on the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to address the United Nations to replace her envoy, Janine Blasgart, who deliberately mislead and absent facts in her reports that lack credibility. Nassif said, in a statement received by, a, uh, copy of it, that, Blashart in her recent report to the Security Council deliberately ignored the role of the national political forces that condemned violence in all its forms against peaceful demonstrators and the right of the security forces, in addition to its role in calling for early elections to meet the demands of the demonstrators. She added, Blackshart ignored the main factor behind what is happening in Iraq which is the corruption that takes place with the blessing of America and its allies since the Bremer government until today. Nassif stressed, the necessity for the foreign ministry to demand that the United Nations replace it and bring a neutral character close to the customs and traditions of our people and its history is free from abnormalities and drugs that are sold in its country publicly in the shops. Next article of interest. America imposes a quarantine on the dollars returning from Asia. Washington decided to impose a stone on U.S. currency notes returning to the country, after being used in the countries of Asia, in an attempt to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. A spokeswoman for the U.S. Central Bank said that the bank notes, dollars, remain withheld 60 days. She added, as a precautionary measure. The procedures for dealing with bank notes sent from Asia have been changed. This procedure started on February 21, 
and it may expand to other regions if the U.S. health authorities deem it appropriate. Earlier, the South Korean Central Bank announced that it would put the securities in a two-week quarry, and the Chinese Central Bank had announced similar measures in mid-February. Be sure and hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest are posted. Check out the Denarian blog, Facebook and Twitter for all of today's articles of interest. Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded Currency Exchange Planner and check out the awesome new Currency Exchange Planner Companion 2020 edition before you leave. Use the promo code, the Denarian, and get 25% off at checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities, along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. Register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program. If you do not keep your savings in a real asset like gold, you risk everything as the fiat system fails and they boot up the new quantum financial system on the blockchain. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be too late. The program is made so everyone can afford to save in gold, by offering it one gram at a time. Start saving in a real true asset like gold, it's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. Why do you think all the central banks are loading up on gold lately, and running from the current depreciating fiat US dollar? Do you think they do not know what is coming? Get yourself protected. Both of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video, go check them out, knowledge is power, using that newfound knowledge is powerful. Over and out, for now. The <laughs>